In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A warm welcome to this short Eucharist as we commune together in these difficult days and remember the church season of Passion Tide as it opens before us. I hope very much, wherever you are, you can be in prayer and quiet with me. God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So let us then show our love for him by together confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect for this season, this week rather, as Passion Tide opens before us. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ delivered and saved the world, Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 8, beginning at the first verse. Then each of the crowd went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again to the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now, what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go on your way, and from now on, do not sin again. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And now in the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. And we come together in our prayers to pray for a world that's hurting for a common zeal and purpose, a coming together of political leaders as we grapple with the global pandemic, that the needs of all may bring us together in our common humanity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for people of faith, that we may look to the God who unites us in Christ that the light of faith may shine in our neighbourhoods and communities, that we may reach out in God's love, as Christ did, to those around us. We pray especially 
for the efforts of our churches to offer virtual worship and other means of support for their communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the lonely and the vulnerable, for those self-isolating and at home alone. We pray for those who feel condemned by others, as we heard in our scripture reading of that woman that they put in front of Jesus. We pray for the elderly, we pray for the confused and those that care for them, for their safety and protection. And we pray for all medical workers and our emergency services, for the pressures they're under and the risks that they take. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all our loved ones, especially those who were separated by distance and those who have gone before us. We pray for all those who we love and see no more. We pray that those who we know may receive God's comfort amidst their loss at this time of bereavement. We look for the strengthening of our faith so that when we are reunited with them, we can look together for the coming of God's kingdom touching earth. So we gather all our prayers together as we say, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Wise and gracious God, you spread a table before us, nourish us with the word of life and the bread of heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is meet and right, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For as the time of his passion and resurrection draws near, the whole world is called to acknowledge his hidden majesty. The power of the life-giving cross reveals the judgment that has come upon the world and the triumph of Christ crucified. He is the victim who dies no more, this lamb once slain who lives forever, our advocate in heaven to plead our cause, exalting us there to join with angels and archangels forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, Send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be to us the body and blood of your Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me as oft as you drink it. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. 
bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Together we declare, great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and in Christ and with Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence together, as our Saviour has taught us, saying our Lord's Prayer in our own language. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ. And the blood of Christ. So we thank God for meeting us in the bread and the wine as we pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you, our souls and bodies, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Christ crucified, draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love and have prayed for now and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.